Lenten Bible reading, Journey to the Cross, Day 19. Jesus speaks about his death and summary of Jesus' teachings. Comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 20 through 50. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life will lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come from your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is in you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. Although he had performed so many signs in their presence, they did not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Lord, who has believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? And so they could not believe because Isaiah also said, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart so that they might not look with their eyes and understand with their heart and turn and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw his glory and spoke about him. Nevertheless, many even of the authorities believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess it, for fear that they would be put out of the synagogue. For they loved human glory more than the glory that comes from God. Then Jesus cried out loud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who bears my words and does not keep them. For I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my words has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken of my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal, eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. Thank you for joining in the daily Bible reading. Peace be with you.
and have a blessed day.